Brooklyn's Jonathan Bay area throwbacks. And today I have a special Ebbetsfield Flannels hockey jersey. This is my first hockey jersey from Ebbetsfield Flannels. And with hockey season has, uh, well, it's now begun, might as well show you a hockey jersey. So um, this is one I wanted for a while. Um, but Ebbets stopped making hockey jerseys, if I'm not mistaken, around like 2015. So, um, I mean, recently there was still some left on the site, but now they're all gone. Um, so I was never able to get this one that I wanted, but luckily on eBay it popped up with tags, new with tags still. Someone had it and uh, I sent the offer below what they had and they accepted, so I got it. And um, that is the San Francisco Shamrock. So this is a San Francisco Shamrocks 1949 to 1950 jersey, which would be their last season in the, the league they were in was the Pacific Coast Hockey League. Um, they were a team for six seasons, 1944. Sure, there's a little hole right there. 1944 to 1950. Um, so that was their tenure. And through that time, those six seasons, they only had two winning records. Um, and both times they got bounced out of the playoffs in the first round. But um, the Bay Area has, has had its share of different hockey teams um, before the San Jose Sharks. And this was one of them. Um, and later on, there would be another either one or two more teams called the San Francisco Shamrocks later on. This is the original San Francisco Shamrocks, like I said, from the Pacific Coast Hockey League. They had a few players who did end up playing in the NHL eventually um, for a little bit of time, most notably uh, Wally Hergesheimer, I think that's how you say it. He played six seasons in New York in the NHL, so that was probably their most notable player. Hopefully I said the name right. But yeah, like I said, this is a jersey I wanted. Um, didn't know if I was going to get it, and it popped up. Um, the seller I got it from, he had a bunch of, he's had all type of Evitz jerseys pop up. Um, I think it's from the uh, the Jer Jergella, Jergella collection, I think that's how you say it, who had a bunch of custom and just all type of uh, um, Evitz Field and Mitchell Ness jerseys. So uh, I saw he started putting up some hockey jerseys, and that's when I said, hey, do you have a San Francisco Shamrocks jersey? He said, yes, he was going to put it up by a certain time. He let me know once he put it up, put my offer in and got it. So... I'm very happy to have this one. Like I said, this is, Evans killed it with this one. Uh, the number on the back, um, I don't think it really represents anyone specific because I don't even know if they, when I've looked up information about this team, you don't really see numbers much for them, so, or no numbers. So, you know, I kind of think they're just doing on. So it has a 27 on the back. Um, trying to think anything else. That's really it. So um, I'm going to do some, oh, you know what? I'm going to do some close-ups here. So here it is. This is a wool hockey jersey. So it is made out of wool. Uh, definitely to wear undershirt under it because uh, when I've tried it on, it is a little scratchy. So definitely going to wear shirts. I'm not always doing anyway under my jerseys, but definitely with this one. So you do have a wool jersey. Ribbed collar. You got this felt clover right here. Shamrock, three leaf clover. And then you got the felt lettering. San Francisco. There you go. On the back, you got double layered felt numbering. Got that 27. There you go. I'm trying to see anything else specific. I mean, that's it. Let me see. So now what's cool is this has the original tag still, which so you got right there. It says Everfield's Flannels Vintage Hockey uh, Sweater. And it even tells you team, the uh, SF Shamrocks uh, League. It says PHL. It's the PC, PCHL should have been. Um, the year 1949 and 1950, year of, that this jersey represents. And it even says when it was handcrafted, January 30th, 2015. So this jersey is over eight years old at this point and still in great condition. Um, like I said, there is a small hole here I didn't notice, but it's all good. Um, got the tagging on the inside. Let me show you. Ebbetsville flannels. Tarts lifted up, there you go. Made in USA tag, hard to see. I'm not gonna cut this off right now, but it is a large. Right there. Oh, 
Let's see. Oh, this is like, yeah, here. 100% wool. So that's the close up. So now what I want to do is put this on my bed and do some close ups with my phone. Also, forgot to point out that they did have the elbow reinforcement on the elbow on both sides, which is pretty cool. So there it is. So here we start at the bottom. You got some white, kind of like cream more on the bottom. Got the green and the white again, or cream, whatever color you want to call it. You got the hem right here. There you go. Now you come up and you get this beautiful patch in the front, that three leaf clover. And as I go over, you could see the close up of that San Francisco and felt the clover and the the words San Francisco are both felt. Come up here again, you got same thing, white, white slash cream uh, lines going across or stripes, better way to say it. Here you go. Evansville flannels, there you go. And again, we got, there's the tag. Let me see, Made in USA, large. Wool, 100%, and just the wash instructions under that. Ribbed collar, sleeves. Check out the, the back. Sleeves got your elbow. Gets reinforced me, you call it, I guess, right there. There's another hole here, actually. I didn't even notice that one. It's all good, though. So there you go. Same thing as the front when it comes to the striping. And then you got your double layered felt numbers, the white over the green. Look at the front one more time, then I'm gonna throw this on. A matter of fact, you know what? I'll do measurements for you guys too. There's the front. One more time. For those of you looking to get a um, <clears throat> Evansville hockey jersey, if you see one on eBay or anywhere, um, this is a large. Measurements from pit to pit are about uh, 24 inches or two feet. Measurements from right here to the bottom are about 28. And if you put it from this part, up here to the bottom, it's about 29 inches. So that's the measurements for a large. And here you go. Fits perfect, fits a little snug, but not too tight, which is fine with me. Um, definitely a jersey I could wear like on St. Patrick's Day. Even has kind of that holiday feel just because it is, you know, um, kind of like a, uh, like a Christmas sweater style almost feels like so. And it is something that's warm. Obviously it's thick wool. So that'll definitely keep you warm during the colder months, or at least as cold as it gets down here in uh, California where I live. But um, that's it. But I will say even like it is itchy, any part that's exposed is pretty itchy. So my neck, I have a shirt to here. This is all itchy. So this might be one where I, I literally have to wear like a thermal under it just because it is, like I said, pretty itchy. So I'll let you know that now if you do get a hockey jersey from Ebbett, don't know if they're all the same, but at least if you get this one, or I'm assuming most of them, it will be pretty itchy where you are going to want to wear something under it. So there it goes. San Francisco Shamrocks, hero of this. 1949 to 1950 jersey. Last season in existence for this version of the Shamrocks, at least, till they came back in the 70s. So you all have a good day. I'll see you all next time. Peace.